Man, I think I've heard more about cash tips in the past week than I have, you know, well, cash rides rather, not tips, but cash rides in the past week than I have the whole time I've done ride share. Because on this side of the channel, we on the equation, we've been over here talking about, you know, cash rides because they, they're screwing with us. And I remember for, you know, everybody in California that's been doing cash rides, you know, they go to concerts. Oh, man, I made 400 cash rides tonight. Every channel's like, yeah, go for it, man. That's what you do. You know, Beyonce concert. Oh, man, we made 300 cash. Oh, man, that's what you do. Good job. Good job. Everybody's been saying that all summer, all winter, all last year. They were saying that. Oh, good job. Good job. Now, all of a sudden that we've been over here on this channel promoting some. What are they like? Oh, you got to have insurance. You know, the policy says you got to have this insurance. We've always had right insurance. I mean, my man Duato, he had insurance on his own progressive. Plus, he had it through Uber and Lyft when he had his accident while he was driving a passenger. And they still fucked him anyways. So it ain't about insurance. It's about whether or not they want to accept your claim or not. That's what it's really about. And they don't always accept your claim. Because Duato had insurance on Progressive. He had insurance with Uber and Lyft when he had his accident. And he still got denied everything while he was on the clock working for these people. So don't give me no shit about, all. Oh, if you don't have insurance, you're going to get screwed. No, you can get screwed with insurance. We've seen it happen. Ask anybody out there who's had an accident under Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, anything else. What happened? Ask them. Quit with all the rhetoric and all the bullshit. Ask them. Go straight to the source. Hey, you had an accident, right? What happened? Ask them. Because we got a lot of channels spitting a lot of rhetoric, spitting policy. Don't spit policy with me from companies who steal billions of dollars from drivers, contractors, get fined for it, get caught stealing in line. And you want to talk about policy from these people? Wait, how are you walking out of court, losing a case for, for breaking your own terms of service, violating your own terms of service, stealing from drivers and contractors? How are you walking out of a court after you getting a judgment against you talking about you guys better be following the policy? You ain't talking to me. You're not talking. I'm not listening to you. I'm not listening to you. Because when an app doesn't follow the policy, who gets dinged? Drivers. When drivers don't follow a policy, who gets dinged? Drivers. So what the fuck difference does it make? We're going to lose no matter what. Duato had insurance on his own and through Uber and Lyft. Who got fucked? Duato. That's just how it works. So all of this fear mongering, we saw this shit going on all 2020. Oh, if everybody doesn't do this, civilization's going to die. We're going to lose humanity. Billions are going to die this year. If you guys don't do this, billions of people are going to die. We follow fear mongering. We follow rhetoric from the experts, the scientists. We followed all this shit already. We know what fear mongering sounds like. I'm going to sell you some fear. Put the fear of God in you. Have you so scared to drive your car? What about all the people that carpool to work every day? These people, they're just W-2 workers. They ain't even ride chair drivers. They're just W-2 workers. And these channels want to get you to think that W-2 workers, all of them, never got cash for giving someone a ride somewhere because they don't have ride share insurance. They don't have commercial insurance. No carpooling. Well, you know, I know you're taking three people to work every day and everybody's giving you, you know, 10 bucks a day to go to and from work. Every, so you're making $30 a day going to work in your car, but you don't have insurance for that. You got to stop that. No more carpooling. Carpooling is illegal. I remember we used to call tips and all that donations. We give people free rides everywhere and do things for free, and we just get donations for it. Hey, man, yeah, man, here's 25 bucks, man. Go take your kids to the to the park today, man. Go get some ice cream, you know, buy them some flip-flops or something. Here's 25 bucks. These channels, oh, you don't have commercial insurance. You got to just do it for free. So you telling me since cars were invented and since cash and currency was invented, everybody who's had a car and didn't have commercial insurance illegally gave people rides if that person gave them five bucks ten bucks then that means everybody in america is a criminal we're just walking around being criminals that's all we're doing we're all violating the law when your cousin says hey man do me a favor man C go pick up my kid from football practice oh man i'm out of gas dude i tell you i'll give you 25 dollars. i bet he don't have commercial insurance you ain't got and according to some of these channels you don't have commercial insurance you can't go pick up somebody's kid for money this is for money you have to do that for free only rideshare drivers get paid. We, we get paid on the apps. We get paid on the apps. If you don't get paid on the apps, you have to be a taxi driver. If not a taxi driver, you got to have a TLC. You can't just be somebody who owns a car and pick somebody up and get $20. No, you're a criminal if you're doing that. There's laws against that shit. I mean, pretty soon they're going to stop telling us that we can accept cash tips. Well, you can only get tips through the app. 
Why? So we know that, you know, it's through the app. I mean, if you're getting tips outside of the app, that's a cash tip. We can't count cash. No, that, that's illegal. We can't. We have to count cash. We got to. So now you can't donate to homeless people. Oh, that's a gift tax. I, I don't want to donate to a homeless person because then, you know, that's a gift tax. They, and I'm making it bad for the homeless person because I'm giving them this money. And now they got to go file all this money in their taxes. And, you know, they're in a worse position than what they were had I just not given the bum money. So I got to stop giving bums and homeless people money. I'm making their tax situations bad. That's the kind of raggedy motherfuckers going around saying this shit. They always want to promote some kind of fear or some kind of policy or law to, to knock people off. When we got tons of people on the apps who have been screwed by these apps through an insurance policy on the apps, doing work for the apps, doing commercial work for the apps, but the commercial policy never covers that driver. Their own insurance will never cover that driver. It's happened. This ain't no rhetoric. This is real shit. Talk to people out there who have had accidents while doing gig work. Talk to them. Ask them what happened. I just got denied. They, they wouldn't give me money. They wouldn't accept my claim. So you paid all this money in premiums for this insurance policy. You're getting dinged by Uber and Lyft on every ride for insurance policy. And they didn't pay for shit? Nope. Didn't cover nothing, man. So you had insurance? Yup. And you still didn't get shit? Nope. I got lost my car, had to get it repo because I couldn't get it fixed. People are, this shit is happening to people out there in real time. This ain't rhetoric. So for all these channels out there trying to push and promote, oh, you can't do carpooling. Can't nobody slide you $5 unless it's on the app. You have to be doing an app ride. You can't go pick up your friends from a concert for 50 bucks. I know they're your next door neighbors, but you don't got commercial insurance. They're only your neighbors. They can live next to you, but they can't ride in your car unless you got commercial insurance. Because if you slide $50, that's a business. That ain't a donation. That's a bit. You were you claim you were giving them a free ride and they donated 50 bucks to you for the free ride. But that's a business. These motherfuckers going to interpret anything they can the way they want to, to make sure you're wrong and they're right. The only thing I say is right. Keep the roof over your fucking head. Keep food in your refrigerator. Keep making the money that you can keep paying for this car. Pay for the insurance on this car. Keep that motherfucker rolling. Because you're going to have a whole lot of channels out there selling you a whole bunch of fucking rhetoric. And they ain't got no live real examples of shit. All they got is, well, this is the Uber policy. Well, Uber's policy is not to steal my fucking money either, is it? Or is that their policy? Is there a policy to steal my fucking money? Because I don't hear y'all talking about that. Y'all like to talk about shit when it comes to a driver and holding a driver on the fucking plantation. Y'all love to talk about that shit. But when it comes time to talk about a driver rising up and saying, I want to take control of my own destiny. I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm tired of these motherfuckers stealing from me and playing me, man. They don't talk about that. I say, keep it real. Don't keep it shill. Keep it real. Because you know when a motherfucker is shilling for a company, they come in sideways. They trying to act like they know more than what they know in real life. In real life? Right, I can go down the street right now. Somebody be like, hey man, 10 bucks, you can take me over to fucking Food City, man. Just I'll give you 10 bucks real quick. Oh, I can't do that, dog. I don't got no commercial license on my car. I gotta just do it for free. What? Yeah, I can only give you a ride for free. Cause I was watching YouTube and YouTube said that unless I got a commercial insurance policy, I gotta do free rides everywhere I go, or you gotta go through this app that they created called Uber. Motherfucker, we've been giving rides to people for generations. Generations. Accidents happen every day, whether on lift, W-2 workers having accidents every day. And so a W-2 worker driving to work, two people in the car, carpooling. You think they're going to get into a car accident and the insurance company go, wait a minute. Were these free people? Like you were giving them rides for free, right? Or did, well, we was carpooling. They would give me 10 bucks every day. I'm sorry. If they was giving you 10 bucks a day to carpool, that's commercial. I'm, we can't deal with this. This is commercial. You're accepting $10 a day to get these people a ride to work. Well, we was carpooling. We always carpool. It just helped me cover the gas. Nope. That's a business. Sorry. You need commercial insurance. We can't cover you. I ain't never heard no shit like that. But that's what these people are paying. They're always trying to categorize and pit. Commercial insurance to me is when you're doing commercial business. You got a business license. You are you know, let's let's call it, you know, BMWrides.com. That's what you are. BMWrides.com. You got a business license. You got cards made up. You go to all these events and you tell people, hey, I do all the event rides and the event sponsors me. I got a banner at the event. Contact BMW rides because now now the event is linked in to you or whatever like this. But if you just some dude in the parking lot, motherfucker walk up. Hey, man, we, we in a bad way, dog. We we our cars broke down. We ran out of gas over here. Is it cool? If we just, you just give us a ride. You know, we got to go to the bank. Just give us a ride up there. We'll slide you 20. Sorry, dog. I can't do that. 
I don't got commercial insurance. I'm sorry. I would give you a ride, but you got to stay stranded on the highway. You got to call Uber or Lyft. Stay stranded on the highway. I don't have commercial insurance. I can't give you a ride. That's what the people on YouTube said. I can only give you a ride if I have commercial insurance or I got to do it for free. Also, what you uh, we can't just give you 20 bucks. No, no. It's a business. If you do that, it's a business. I got to just give it to you for free. I can't take you nowhere. Y'all better watch who y'all fucking listen to. You got these raggedy motherfuckers out there violating their own terms of service. Then they got these shill ass fucking channels out there promoting dumb shit. Ain't no fucking way in hell I'm going to give people free rides all over town. Ain't no way in hell. Well, you have to. It's the law. You have to give people free rides, Jeff, unless you have commercial insurance. Then you can charge people for it. You know what? It's a donation then. If a motherfucker going to slide me 20 to donate to my fund of fuel for this motherfucker for tire, slide me 20. Motherfucker might be happy and slide me 100. How many people out there get $100 tips doing ride share? But now they're going to start saying, well, you can only get a $100 tip if you're doing the app. If, if somebody slides you a $100 cash tip and you're doing an Uber ride, that's fine. But if you just get $100 from somebody, that's not fine. You have to be on the app. So you telling me I can't just get a $100 cash tip from my motherfucker saying, man, I love this ride. appreciate this shit. Here you go, dog. Here's a hundred, man. Here you go. Well, you could do that if you were given an Uber ride. Yeah. So somebody just can't walk up and say, hey, man, I'm going to just give you a hundred, man. We appreciate you, dog. We appreciate you bringing us. Nope. You don't have commercial insurance. You can't do that. You got to be driving the app. These motherfuckers don't make no sense to me, man. That's why I say a lot of people I can't fuck with because the logic ain't there. They want to sell fear. Anybody that has any accident, whether you're a W-2 worker or a rideshare driver, you're going to have to deal with your insurance company. Insurance claims get denied all the time in every industry. Insurance gets denied all the time in every industry. But they're going to try to have you believe that insurance only gets declined if you're a rideshare driver with the rideshare endorsement, with rideshare insurance, doing a cash ride. Then you're going to be denied insurance. I've had an accident three times in my Jeep. My insurance covered each one of them. I'm a rideshare driver. I wasn't doing rideshare at the time. I was just driving my motherfucking Jeep. But I'm insured. I, it didn't matter if I had a passenger in my car or not. Them motherfuckers didn't ask me, wait a minute, Jeff. Are you doing rideshare? They never asked me that shit. They see my policy. They know I do rideshare. They know, well, you were probably doing a rideshare ride. You are probably on your way or you are on your way back. or They never asked me no shit like that. We exchanged information with the dudes that hit me and shit and gave it the insurance. They covered my shit. Everything was all cool. But these motherfuckers don't have you believe that every time you get into a wreck, oh, if you're an insur if you're a rideshare driver, we can't insure this because you don't got commercial insurance. We can't cover your car. You need commercial insurance. For all you know, somebody gave you $100 on Cash App to come pick them up. You got $100 on Cash App and you just driving in your car down the street to go get them and you get into an accident. Bam. Can they say, well, since somebody sent you cash up at 2 o'clock p.m. and you had the wreck at 2.30 on your way to them, that's a that's a business ride. You need commercial insurance. You were on your way to go pick them up. They cash up you $100 at 2 o'clock, Jeff. If they cash up you 100 bucks at 2 o'clock, you have the accident at 2.30, that's commercial insurance policy. You were on your way to go get them. Insurance companies ain't asking no shit like that. These people got motherfuckers so scared to take $5 from somebody for a fucking appreciative ass ride. Oh, that's commercial though. That's commercial. I'm going to tell you right now. You fuck around with these people. You end up right where they are. Shilling for a fucking company. Saying shit that don't logically make sense. Because any rider out there that has had a wreck while driving Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, Uber Eats, they will tell you the truth. No rhetoric. They will tell you the truth about what happened in their, in their accident and why they did or did not get get approved for their claim and it happens all the time these motherfuckers are notorious nope we can't we can't honor that claim but it, i got a ride share policy and i'm doing ride share we can't honor that claim following everything by the books two roguish ass companies that don't even follow their own terms of service this is what they do they steal fares and tips they got the nerve to turn around and tell you you gotta abide by the terms of service Go. For the love of my That's right, baby. About to go get it. Let's do what we got to do. Let's go. Right, here we go. Let's get ready to start. Let's open up Uber real quick. See what Uber's got out there. It's 7 o'clock, Saturday night. Yeesh. I'm all ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to rock and roll. Okay, let me see something. Let me go back in here. What do we got? That was pretty. What? All right, let's go in here real quick. 
Had to get my music going. I think I still got it on Paw Patrol. I'm up to 14% AR, and I'm at 32% cancels. Got some surge down south, as always. Down, I always tell people, by this little part of the highway, there's always surge down there because there's a casino down there. But once you get there, the surge is going to disappear. It's like fake. I mean, it happens every time. Sometimes when I'm actually down there, they don't give me anything. I'll be like, right where it says COVID in place, and it'll be like all gray. The moment I'll go north, it'll go back to 19 and 18. It does it all the time. Like, that's why when I see it, it's not even worth it. And they be sending me to like Wild Horse Pass Casino, which is right down here. That's Wild Horse Pass Casino right here, all this down here. And so like that's the Wild Horse Pass Corporate Center, all that stuff. And they want people to come down here so they can, you know, pick up people from the casino and all that. But I'm telling you, once you get down there, the shit just disappears. It's like, it never fails, never fails. You got the steakhouse over here. Here's the big Wild Horse Pass Casino. See, it's sitting $18 right on top of the casino because there's people at this valet where this little circle is. There's people at that valet waiting and they need to get people down there because no drivers want to go down there. So what they do is throw big ass surge down there all the time. But when you get there, there's nothing. I could do it to prove it, but I'm like, I'll be wasting my time and gas. This shit's happened a lot of times to me already. I'm not going down there. It's like, nope, nope. And they don't have surge nowhere else. So let's open up lift real quick. When it ain't no surge, I just open up everything. Wood, former rideshare driver in debt after wreck on the job. What? Hold up, let's see what this is all about. Like I said, I didn't even try to hit that. Let's see what they talking about over here. Rideshare drivers in debt after wrecking on the job. Oh, well, she was driving for DoorDash. DoorDash is different than, um, delivery is different than rideshare because, you know, she's urging other rideshare drivers to double check their insurance policies. That's why I tell everybody, make sure you got rideshare insurance on your shit. Everybody's like, you need commercial insurance. I'm like, no. You need ride share insurance. This is for ride share. Let's see. It was easy to start up drop me. We did the truck thing a few weeks by. I mean, dang. She says her insurance company work resulted in the claim being denied and leaves her on the hook for $25,000 and she can no longer drive. What? That's crazy. Ride share companies are requiring provider drivers with insurance but it may not always cover them. Like ride share companies are required to provide drivers with insurance, but it may not always cover them. So it says, discuss your options with your insurance provider before hitting the road. So that's why I got ride share insurance on my motherfuckers be like, dude, you pay a lot in insurance. I pay $460 a month for insurance on all these cars, 460 a month. But you gotta do it, you gotta do it, 460 a month. But I can drive any of my cars. If anything happens, like when my Jeep got hit, I got a settlement. And I wasn't even doing ride share. I was just driving my Jeep. But my ride share company knows I do ride share. And when they hit my Jeep, the dude hit my Jeep or whatever, his insurance company covered everything. My insurance company paid me first. My insurance company gave me all the money. But then they went through subrogation to go after his insurance company, even though they know I'm a ride share driver. But because I have ride share insurance and everything else, they know my policy is solid. No matter what I was doing, I was covered. Like I said, my attorney, he was like, dude, you lucky you got ride share insurance in your policy because they was trying to say you do ride share. I was like, they know I do ride share. That's why they charge me what they charge me. He was like, yeah, I know. As I told them that to look at your policy and you got the endorsement on there. <laughs> I was like, I wasn't even doing ride share when they hit me. But yeah, this lady's right. You know, in DoorDash, it's a little different than ride share. That's delivery. There's no such thing as delivery insurance, but I know ride share insurance might cover delivery. Not 100% sure. All right, enough of that shit. Let's go back to what we were doing. I'm in a bonus zone. Let's open it up. All right, bet. They already got me in a bonus. Let's go. Let's go. I ain't even left my driveway yet. Let's go get this money. All right. I'm in a half a tank, 154 till empty. Let's rock and roll. Nine bucks to go over to Tempe. Let's do it. Because I got to go. I was going to drive to Tempe anyway. So I just got to go up here just north of my house and pick somebody up. And then I'm going to go. Uh, yeah, they're at the business center right now. So go pick them up and take them over to uh, Tempe. So I'm headed there anyway. Let's go. Tonight's going to be a hard night to record because they keep giving me short trips. This is my third one to where I had to pick the person up. And they're literally right where I already am. So I don't have enough time to record and to do all this stuff because I hate putting addresses of, of like houses or like a, a place like a business i don't mind an address of a business showing up but sometimes these things are putting people's house addresses on and i gotta take time to edit and block it out and everything but this is gonna be kind of hard to record tonight but man i'm getting nothing but short bangers everything is like less than a mile less than two miles crazy back to back and there's six and seven dollars so i'm pretty much getting like six seven dollars a mile right now
Like, I've been doing it for the last three trips. It's crazy. I, I thought Lyft was going to be nice to me. This is the kind of shit they've been sending. I just did that last drop real quick. And they trying to give me $2 bonuses after these rides, but that's, that'll be $16 for like 22 miles, and I can't do that. It's way too far. And I'm sitting in some surge. Like, I'm right next to surge. They won't give me the surge. So it's like, I was in it, and then they took it away from me. So I'm like, eh. This, that right there is $10. That'll be, you know, $8 for eight mi nine miles, but it's 10 bucks actually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to some surge area. I'm not taking these rides, but I'm gonna head over to some surge area, kind of sitting there and hang out for a while. Cause I don't know, they just, man. That'll be $8 for about six miles. Now I'm not doing that either. See, that Lyft was doing good. They were doing so good, but now they're starting to piss me off and I'm gonna have to like just log off and if they send me one more shit ride, I'm just gonna log off and I'll just deal with it later. See, that's what I'm saying, man. It's a shit ride. It's like 15 miles for like 11, 12 dollars. It's like, see, man, Lyft, you was doing okay till you started that shit. I can't deal with that, man. It's like, don't, it's Saturday night. There's a lot of good money to be made out there. I'll show you the last couple of rides I did. I'm gonna go up here and park in a uh, thing. See, I'm getting these two dollars for these bonus hours. They're throwing me those two bucks. But this is what the ride I just did right there. It was like a mile and a half for like six dollars. And then the one right before that was, I'm trying to go up here, was this one here, like two miles for 10 bucks. Oh, he gave me a tip. Oh shit, cause that was seven. I think he gave me a tip. Yeah, there we go, $3 tip. What's up, what's up? Yeah, so, and then the one before that was the one where I was like all the way by my house trying to come towards there. That was this one here you know, six miles for nine bucks. That got me over here in a good area where it's surging and everything. But now it's like, man, look at that, $2.68 for that ride and that $3.50 bonus on it, this one. Come out to be $6 for like a mile and a half. $2.68 was the base fare for this car. Goddamn luxury car, man, you gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. So I gotta, uh, I'm not referring nobody to this shit. I'm not in the bonus zone right now. But let me go back over to Uber real quick. Yeah, I don't I don't really refer. I know people be like, hey man, send me your referral code. Give me your referral code. I don't know. I would do it, but I just don't feel comfortable doing that. Just because I don't want nobody to like, you know, get involved in this shit. It, it takes a certain caliber of person to do this. Because it's gonna take you through some roller coasters of emotions. You're gonna be up and down doing this shit. It's just like playing basketball. You're gonna be happy you making three pointers. Then you down by six. You're gonna be upset as shit because somebody ain't playing defense. Then you're gonna come back and you all hyped up with the crowd and everything. Because now you're leading by one. And then you're gonna be dropping down by nine. So you pissed off again. That's how basketball works. That's how sports works. If you're an athlete, you could really do ride share. But you have to be an athlete to do this shit. There's a lot of people who, who aren't athletic enough to do ride share. And, and athletics, I tell people, is 90% mental, 10% physical. Because what you're going to be doing is, is playing the game in your head more than anything else. So, like I said, you could be playing football or anything else. Let's say you down by two touchdowns. You're on the sidelines. You're not happy. You're down by two touchdowns when you know you should be up. This is not a team that you should be down by two touchdowns on. So you're in your feelings about it. You're kind of mad about it. But all of a sudden, you know, you get an interception. Now you're only down by one. You score something. Now you like the game is tied. You're getting more hype. And that's how ride share is. When you start getting bad rides, you're kind of down because you know you should be doing better. You're getting bad rides. All of a sudden, you're getting better rides. You're getting tips. You're getting hype. Ride share, it, it is a roller coaster of emotions, just like playing sports. People who don't play sports and don't have a passion for a sport don't understand ride share fully. I understand ride share. I know it's us against the apps all the fucking time. A lot of these channels love to put drivers against drivers. They love that shit. I'm a better driver. Or oh, this and that. Oh, I don't like the way he drives. Or oh, he sucks. He's the, They like that shit. They love driver against driver. I'm like driver against the apps. That's my game right there. And that's why I think I do well with the industry of ride share. I show my bank account all the time for a fucking reason. Because I don't like to talk shit. I don't like people who say that they can lead people and show, but they can't do it themselves. If you can't do some shit yourself, it's going to be hard for you to lead me. Because I'm going to ask you for some proof. I'm going to ask you to validate and verify what you're talking about. So don't sit around and telling me shit and telling I'm an athlete. I go to practice. I go to the weight room, to the training room. We do this shit. Like I tell motherfuckers, we do ride share. We really do this shit. We don't play. And there's a lot of people out there that don't really do this shit. They talk about it, but they can't be about it. 
This shit is a sport. It's a fucking sport. You got to get out there. You got to fight back. You got to play defense. You got to reset your defense, reset your offense, come up with a new playbook every day. You got to do different shit. Because if you don't, the algorithm knows your game. And the algorithm will fuck you up every time. Because they know you're going to go left because you always go left. No, go right sometimes. Fuck with them. Back up a few times. Go forward a few times. Fuck with them. But don't sit up there and let the algorithm know your game because you're going to get beat. You're going to be one of those drivers like, man, I can't make more than 100 bucks a day, man. What the fuck? Sometimes it's just your market and there's nothing you can do. Sometimes your market just sucks. Nothing's really jumping. There's nothing you can really do about it except, you know, the best you can you can just do the best you can do there's nothing you can really do but for the normal industry of ride share you've got to understand this is more a mental game than a physical game that's why people crack me up when they say oh it's a skillless game i mean it's a skillless industry you know you guys don't the skill is running the business that's the skill driving is easy everybody fucking drives you got to get the work my 16 year old can drive like my 18 year old can drive 19 year old 50 they can drive that don't mean they're going to be great at ride share because ride share is a mental game. It's not a physical game. It's not a driving game. It's a business game. And you got to go through all the, like Nipsey said, you got to go through all the emotions to get success. All the emotions. Because the most successful people you ever will ever meet will say they have a passion for what they're doing. If they don't have a passion for it and they have no emotion for it, they won't be good at it. I can tell you that much. They won't be good at it. There's nothing that I've nothing I've ever followed somebody in that had no passion or low passion. And I said, oh, they're really good at this. They're not. They're not. A lot of people might be naturals at something. Let's say you're a natural at football because you're just big, but you're not good at football because you don't have a passion for playing. That's why I think I'm good at ride chair, why I'm good at doing what I do, because I have a passion for it. And a lot of people see that when they get in my car, when they ride with me, they see, damn, man, you love driving, don't you? You love ride chair. You love Uber and Lyft, don't you? I love doing it. I don't love those corporations, but I love doing this. Some of my lift stats. I don't go through stats enough. And like last night, I was online for what, two and a half hours for a hundred bucks. It's crazy. That was on lift. Nine rides in two and a half hours. I was killing it last night. So I've been online for three hours for 177 bucks. Almost a little over. I'm over $50 an hour, definitely over 50 bucks an hour, but I'm pushing close to 60 an hour. And that's not bad. That's not bad. For Lyft, that's not bad. I mean, Lyft is making $15.99 on me. And to see that, you know, go to your, your weekly breakdown screen. You can toggle down and see your Lyft fee summary here. Because a lot of people say, well, how do you see that? That's out. So the passengers paid $225. only got $162 out of that. But Lyft is making about $16 on me so far. Because like I said, there's my tips, my adjustments. I can't believe I only got $14 in tips. That's cool, though. These raggedy motherfuckers, man. That's cool. But yeah, like I said, now I've been online for about six hours scouting with them. I only drove for about three and a half and 177 bucks. That's not bad. That's not for Lyft. That's not bad. We've been having some shitty weeks and, you know, online for two and a half hours. It's a hundred bucks right there. Then the day before that, I was online for, I don't know how many hours. That was Friday. What was that? Yeah. Friday night online for about almost two hours scouting 61 bucks and that was early saturday morning that's you know 5 14 5 35 45 this is all early saturday morning up to 6 05 a.m well 6 42 a.m then i started back driving with him at 7 11 p.m so that's when i cut my morning off right here that's when i was like okay i'm done because i woke up late yesterday I, I woke up about 6 p.m yesterday so i was like man i'm too wide awake to go home you know, usually about three or four in the morning, I go home. I was just too wide awake. So I stayed out to like about six. I was just cruising around doing little small trips. But yeah. And now, you know, it, it might not be bad. Like I said, these, all these little short trips are all, I mean, I've done nine rides, nine rides in about two and a half hours of being online. So, you know, my, I, and I scout, so I didn't really drive note it. Man, I'm running almost 50 bucks an hour just doing little short hops. Look at that. 268 for that ride. 305 for that ride, 672, 512, uh, $6, 467, 361, 417, 681. I mean, these are all short trips, but that's what you got to do sometimes. You know, do these short hops, 666, evil ass numbers, 705, 684, 307, 440. But see, even with that 307, you know, I got a $6 ride bonus. So I went two miles and nine bucks. That's $4.50 right there. If you're going to give me a ride bonus, give me one. Uber, when they give you a fucking ride bonus, you know what they do? That ride, they would they would drop the fare down to about 30 cents a mile. Because where was that at? It was way down here somewhere. 
I don't know. Yeah, this one right here. Uber would drop it down to about 30 cents a mile. So they give me 60 cents. It'll be 30 cents times two miles. They give me 60 cents, but then they add, you know, $6 bonus. So they'll give me $6.60 for two miles. That's the shit Uber would do. They wouldn't just give you a base fare of 307 because 307, that's $3 for, that's about $1.50 a mile pretty much. Uber would drop that shit all the way down to about 30, 40 cents a mile. So you get 80 cents on that. And then they turn around and give you, okay, you're getting $6.80 though, Jeff, for two miles. That's Uber shit. Uber's notorious for that. That's why I tell people, watch these Uber bonuses because they're not truly giving you a bonus when they take away the fare. They should leave the fare at what the fare is. Don't bottom it out. Leave it what it is and add the bonus to it. Make it a bonus in, a, in addition to. Not what we're going to subtract from your fare, then give you a bonus. Then you're not really giving me a bonus. You fucking with me is what you're doing. And that's why it makes me upset. Like, people wonder why I'm so passionate about what I do because I'm an accountant. I know numbers. Don't fuck with me when it comes to these numbers. Don't even try. I got a degree in this shit. So don't try to sit there and play me. Just like I used to, when I do them airport reservations in the morning. How many times have I done those? And then I say, okay, check this shit out. My reservation was $13.99. Then I got a $6, you know, bonus with it. So I should have got $19.99. Why am I getting $17 and something as my total fare? Because they took away the fucking fare. They're eating into the fares. That's Uber shit. Uber does that. Lyft, they, they don't kind of, they don't do that. Because like I said, that right there was the base earnings 307 for that short ass trip. Cool. Then they added a $6 bonus. Cool. Made it 907 for two miles, 450 a mile. Uber, man, they, they sketch. Them motherfuckers are sketch. I think they steal way more than Lyft. They sketch as a motherfucker. And I've been talking about that shit for a long time. If y'all been watching my videos, seeing my reservations, how I get those surges added to my reservations, but the upfront fare plus the reservation is never equal to what it is. They always take money out. Uber does that shit. Now, so I've been on that for a long time. Some channels are finally catching up to it. But like I said, short bus mentality. I've been talking about this shit for a minute. None of them jumped on it back then. They talking about this shit now in December. I was talking about this shit in the goddamn summertime. It's motherfucking winter right now. I was talking about this shit in the summer. You motherfucking short bus, man. You got to get on this shit. So I'm thinking about possibly going north and being up north. I'm not going downtown. Nine bucks or 12 miles? No, I'm not going downtown. Because I don't think downtown has enough good surge for me right now. There's your downtown. It's four bucks to go down there. I'd probably rather go up here. They got some pretty good looking surge up there. Nine bucks, six bucks, all that. I think I'm going to go north tonight. Uh, let's see something. $13 to go north, 17 miles. Nah, I'm not doing that. No, nah, nah, I'd rather just go straight north. I was, I was really thinking about it, but the surge I want is not over there. The surge I want is over here. So I want to go up on this side. They were having me going up here by where it's like blank. There's nothing up there. It's going to be like a $2 sitting right there. I want to go straight north up there. If they can give me something going straight north, I'll take it. Because this surge up there, it might be good tonight and everything. I might do North Scottsdale. See how that works out. Stay away from the downtown Tempe area. So let's see if they give me any ride to go up in that direction. Let me go back over to Uber. Let me see something. Nope, they got me going the wrong direction as well. I want to go north, and they've got me going west right now. So let me go over here and see if they give me something going north. Somebody's got to give me something. Let's go north tonight. Anything going north, I'll take it, because I'm not going on my own fuel. It's where I want to be. I'll take, you know, a dollar a mile, dollar fifty a mile. It don't got to be nothing crazy. That's a little far north. Jeez. Ah, fuck it. Let's take it. It's close enough. It's taking me up close enough. All right, all right. This person's right around the corner. I'm gonna take the 33. I'm gonna go way up north, pick up Aresia. Let's go shut this down. I don't. I don't really want to take it, but I'm going north, and that's where I want to do. They got me going that way. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. Let's go make this money. That last trip right there. I had to turn it off because as I was coming up here. Uber kept sending me rides like 12 miles to get to somebody for an 11 mile ride for $11. They, I mean, it was like they kept sending them back to back. I was like, I just went the last ride. I said, man, I shouldn't be up here right now. No surge on none of them. I mean, it was like one of them was like 23 miles or something like that for $7 total. I'm like, that's nuts. See, look at this. Uber Rarity X. Man, 1865 for 19 miles. And that's a priority. No, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm going straight back down. 
because that means I got to cut all 10 miles over to 10 miles down, 20 miles for $18, and they call that a priority. That's not a priority to me. It's not. They got me up here. They might as well just pay me some surge. Because what I'm going to do is just jump right back on Tatum right there and go straight back down and not be worried about none of this shit up here. Look at that. $15. All, I got to go all up to Cave Creek, pick up somebody. That's 30-something miles. That's 50 cent a mile. I got to go up to Cave Creek to take them all the way over here. It's 31 miles for $16. That's 50 cent a mile. This is why I didn't want to be up here. I thought it was going to surge pretty good because I'm like, I never come far north because I'm like... Look at this shit. 31 miles for $17. Same shit. They keep, they trying to add a little bit to it to make it sweeter. I'm like, no, no, that that's nuts right there. 31, like 31 miles for $17. Like, no, nah, I'm cool. That's pretty much that one right there. Already viewed that one. So people right now are sitting up in Cave Creek right now. Look at all these trips, you know, 25 miles for $15. There was that 22 miles for $12. Look at that. That's fifteen dollars go all the way back down to Scottsdale. Fifteen dollars. I just they just paid me thirty three to come up here. Thirty three to come up here. Now they're paying me fifteen to go back. <laughs> it's like no, I'm cool. I'm cool. Cause like I said, this is the last trip I took right here. That was my last trip. They let me get out of here. They paid me. Look at that. It was twenty seven miles. I started in Scottsdale. They paid me thirty three dollars to come up here. Twenty seven miles. No surge. No bonus. No nothing. And these are the rest of the trips they're giving me all at half price right now. That right there is 35, 36 miles for $15 when he just gave me 27 miles for 33. And it's like, this is why I don't like taking these long trips because then algorithms start thinking you're a sucker. Like, okay, let's give them some longer trips. They did the same shit when I went to Maricopa one time, paid me 43 to go to Maricopa. Then they want to pay me shit to get out of there. Look at these, man. $9 for like 18 miles. All these trips are 50 cent a mile. All of them. And there's no way I can do something like that. No way. Nah, nah. I'd rather ride on my own gas. Let's go inside a lift and see if lift's got anything up here. But one thing I'm not doing is, is letting them sucker me into taking one of these damn trips. Like, nope. See if lift's got anything jumping up here. If they app even. See, now they got some, some up in Cave Creek. Look at that. They got a surge up there. $13.50. $13.50 for these surges. Look at that. And this is where I am right now. And that's why they got 1350 up there and stuff like that. People are trying to get a ride bad up there, trying to get a ride. Look at that. That's almost 52 miles for $22. That's crazy, crazy. I got to turn Uber off. Uber, I can't do Uber up here. No, hell no, hell no. I'm like, they're out there damn mine. Even if I went up there on Lyft and try to get one of these surges up there, I mean, that's probably an extra eight miles to go up there, eight miles. And then that's 1350 for eight miles. But this is the thing. If I go eight miles up, I got to come eight miles back. So that's 16 miles just to get back to where I am. So if I got to go 16 miles, that's only paying me 1350. And it's like, and you know, Lyft don't pay shit anyway. So it would be stupid for me to go up there. Now, if that serves is $25, that would be worth it. Cause that's $8 up, $8 back, 16 miles. And I'm getting $25 for 16 miles. That's one thing. But for $13.50, nah, nah. Let me look at that trip. Oh, damn, I got to go online. I hate when they do that shit. They try to make you go online just to take a look at shit. And they're going to send me a bunch of garbage rides. Bunch of them back to back. Look at that, $38. I got to go up there and get somebody and then take them all the way down to Phoenix for $38. That's crazy, crazy. $38 for 41 miles nuts nuts and like i said it's seven miles north to get them and then i come all the way back they could pay me at least 50 miles 50 dollars for something like that that's craziness that's nuts i only got 113 miles to go till empty that's it 113 miles to go till i'm empty and i'm sitting right now in the middle of nowhere i know people are like damn man we got a lift car sitting right there why won't he come why won't he come get us i don't know man these, these rises ain't they're not happening they're just not happening like I said, we got all Surge just south of me right here. I got to go south anyways, so I can drop back down south and pick up Surge down there. But from like where I'm sitting right now, eh, these fools, man. Let's go back on Uber real quick. Let's see something. And Uber's not trying to match them at all. At all. So now I got, what, 
they threw up I, because I went offline and came back. Now they want to throw me a surge real quick. Four dollar surge. Let's see what they got. They're like, dude, just give them a surge. Just give them one. Let's see what you got going. I just saw a coyote run across the street. Crazy. Yeah, $15 to go 20 something miles. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Cool on that shit. Bump that surge up to about $12, $13. Let's see. $15 for 22 miles. And that's a share. Nah, we cool on that shit. Nope, nope. Uber's not looking too good tonight. Last night, everybody was doing okay. Tonight, they're pulling some funny shit. They're, they're back to their old shit. I don't know what happened last night. They were doing pretty well. They were making good money. $28 to go all the way back to Tempe. What else we got? $28, $10 to go three miles to go get some Taco Bell. I could do that. I could do that. $10 to go get some Taco Bell, four miles. Nah, let's not. Let's not. All right. What else we got in the pipe? Give me something that's like $50. Give me a $50 ride. They give me anything close to 50 bucks, I'll take it. Definitely anything over 40, 45. That, nope. Not doing it. Give me something over 40, 45 dollars, I'll take it. 38 was close, but it's, I could do better than that. Up here, I could do better. Because there's no other drivers up here. I'm the only one. So, like, I got the control right now. Because if any of these apps want to make fucking money off of me, they know you got to pay me. If you don't, I'll just go back on my own gas. $17 for like 29 miles? Nah. You got to give me something like 50 bucks. Give me something close. $50. You know, even if you get me up to, let's say, 45, 46, that's enough. But this shit they're paying right now is not worth my time. And plus Cave Creek, that's where you got to go when you don't have no fucking, you know. Let me see how I'm going to get out of here. All right. Yeah, if you do that, you got to actually have more like a, a dirt bike type of car. Something with some big dirt wheels on it. $9 for that. $9 to go up to Cave Creek. Let's take that. Because that's that's paying me to go up to Cave Creek. So they're going to pay me to go to Cave Creek right now. And once, once I get to Cave Creek, oh, it's going to be a field day. You see, that's $10 to go up there. But it's going that way. So let's get out of that. Go offline. All right. So I got to go pick up Shelby to head up to Cave Creek. And once I get up there, whoo, 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 now I can start getting $40, $50 rides. Because they're paying me to go up there now. I was going to have to go up there on my own gas. I don't have to right now. I just go up there, pick somebody up. And that's what they knew. They knew I'm not going up there to pick nobody up unless you pay me. So I'm on Uber. Lyft is off. Lyft's got a $13 surge sitting up there. So that means I got to go, you know, seven, eight miles up there to pick up somebody, but I'm going to get that $13 surge while I'm up there. That way I don't got to go on my own gas. At first I was going to have to go eight miles up on my own gas. Now I'm being paid to go up there. That's what I wanted to do. If you want to send me up there, send me up there. Pay me money to send me up there. Then I'll do it. All right, I just did that quick trip with Miss Shelby. She was pretty cool. So she went to South Dakota State University. So I had to show her in my phone, I have a championship from South Dakota State University. I was like, hey, I did the Hoover Relays. I won the 100 meter dash at your college. She was like, what? So I showed her the championship plaque that I got all my championships on. And it says Hoover Relays, South Dakota State University, 100 meter champion, 1993. She was like, oh my God, that is so cool. I stayed in Brown dorm. And then she was telling me all about the school and everything. I was like, yep, so I've been up to your college before. She was like, that is so crazy. I was like, I know it. That's what life is though. You never know what to expect. I mean, here I am way up in Arizona hanging out and I actually ran track and won a championship at her college. So we was like laughing, joking, having a good time about it. But that was that quick little ride right there. 978. Still don't have no tips coming in yet. Um, there's no, let me put it on Paw Patrol to make sure ain't no surge up here. Let's do like this. Paw Patrol it. Ooh, and she gave me some money. What was she tipped me? She tipped me. Thank you so much for the tip. $3 tip. There we go. Yeah, it ain't no surge up here. Look at all the surge right down there. See? So we're going to go offline real quick. They ain't got no surge up here. Let's go over to Lyft and see if Lyft's got surge up here. I got 107. I got a little more than a quarter of a tank of gas left. Look, where am I at? Way up here. Let's see if I got some surge up here. Let's see what they get me. Uh, 350. It was 1350 a minute ago. They took off 10 bucks. 
33 dollars to go to chandler oh man that's a long ass ride that's going 10 miles south that's 43 miles i gotta go 10 miles south then go no no fuck that 43 miles for that no nah. even though i do gotta go south anyways i'm not doing that no i'm not doing that 22 dollars for that uh 27 no i'm not going to peoria even though they're like you know 0.2 of a mile away from me right now these trips aren't going to be worth it they're just like i said they got to give me something worth me taking if it's not worth me taking i'm not messing with it even though i know i'm up here 12 dollars 12 miles going south uh no let's not take it let, let, we'll find something else i'll find something better I'll get something like over 20 bucks that's worth it going south or something like that. Probably get me down to Scottsdale, maybe. But yeah, with these rides, it ain't worth it. They're not worth it. Now they're going to drop me down. Well, I'm at $3. Let's see what they drop me down to. Now they're going to keep me at 3 It was $13.50 a minute ago. But like I said, psh, and that, that little trip that I just did right there on, for her, it was, I think it was what, six miles or seven miles or something like that? Come on, Uber, you slow ass app. Yeah. Okay, it was five miles and I was about a mile from it. So it was about six miles for 12, seven, eight, roughly about $2 a mile. Not bad. And I don't think Uber has anything going right now. Yep, still no surge up here. I got it on Paw Patrol right now. But yeah, it ain't no money up here. So what I could do is probably, I'm gonna turn this off because there ain't nothing on there. So I'm down to what, 107. I got a little more than a quarter of a tank of fuel right now. Fuel right now. I'm sitting right there. So I got enough to last me for the rest of the night, I think. It's 11 o'clock. That can last me the rest of the night, no problem. I'm sitting at a Circle K right now, thinking about just gassing up while I'm up here. But it's 4 dollars for premium. But where I'm at, it's around about 20 cents less. And if I'm going to fill all the way up, I'd rather do the 20 cents less. But yeah turn this off real quick kind of kick back and relax for a second turn the car off yeah lift gotta pay up man these people gotta pay some money if they don't pay shh, i can't do it i can't do it and uber's the same way wait a minute uber's the same way let's go over here real quick uber has no surge whatsoever none it's crazy and they all were surging up here a second ago now just south of me they got all the surge right where i wanted to be but i got that 1278 there and I got, before that, I got the 33. So I got $45 up here so far. So I've got 45 bucks just hanging up here. But it's like, I got to do better. They've got to give me something better so I can get out of here. Because if they're not giving me any good money, there's no point. And I know people are probably pissed right now because they see us a car on the app and I'm not accepting nobody. But I'm not getting good money. So it's one of those Saturdays where if we're not getting paid, we don't move these vehicles. I don't give a shit. I'll drive back on my own gas by the end of the night. And it's only 11 o'clock. Like I said, I can kick back, do some video edits. Yeah, I might do that. I'm going to go up here and park for a second. I'm going to do some video edits and wait till it surge again. It's a good idea. Video edits for a little bit. I'm still sitting up in Cave Creek, as you can see. I'm clear the hell up there. And this is where, like, that's the last road in Phoenix, North. That's the last road, pretty much. I mean, unless you go way up here to, like, Anthem and shit like that. But that's the last road right there, North. I live all the fucking way down here by where that P is. <laughs> That's how far I am from home. It's like the last main highway is right there. Where it says Sonoran. That's the last main highway that wraps around. I'm north of that. Cave Creek. What? And I'm never up here. Just still got like a little surge up here. Let's see what kind of surge they're talking about. 10608, 375 bonus. They should have gave me 1350. If they'd have gave me that 1350 or 1375, I would have took it. But I want to see what they got going on up here anyways. Let's go turn on Uber because they ain't going to give me shit till I turn on Uber. Because they're going to be like, oh, what shit? He's up there. Give him, hurry up. Give him a ride before he jumps on Uber. Give him a ride. Motherfuckers, hold up. See, I told you that's what they do. Uh, $21 to go all the way to Glendale. Oh, man. I don't know, man. That's... I don't like going way over there. No, I'm trying to go just straight south. Because there ain't nothing over there. Glendale, there's nothing over there. You got 1050, but again, I was at 1350 where I am. Go over there, and ain't gonna be no fucking surge over there. 
go all the way over there and there's no surge. They want to get me over there because there's must be busy. They need drivers over there. So they throwing up this fucking fake surge over there. Just like they needed drivers where I am. They threw a fake surge up here. So they threw the fake surge up. Now I ain't no surge at all up here. So these motherfuckers really ain't getting no ride. Fuck that. Go offline. Yeah, if it ain't no surge at all, nope. I'm out of here. Fuck that. Let's go see what Uber's talking about. $22 to go down to, where is that? That's going downtown Phoenix. 22 bucks to go downtown Phoenix. It's about $35 to go damn near 50 miles. Eww. Nah, that's way too far for me. It's way too far for me. I know it sucks because there's no other driver up here. I'm the only one up here. But the fact that I'm only the only one up here and they ain't giving me no surge, fuck them. I mean, it's a small town. There is no other car on the street right now. $22 to go down to Paradise Valley. Let's take that one. 22 bucks gets me the fuck up out of here. All right, yep, and that Buffalo Chips, of course. That's where everybody is right now. And I'm guaranteeing they're going to be pissed. They're going to be like, oh, man, how come you didn't? No, oh, fuck that. It's like, I got to get from up here. 20 bucks will get me from up here. And it's take me to Paradise Valley, which is right in the middle of some surge anyways, just south of me. So I ain't got to go that far. Can't stand these fucking ragged ass apps. They get you way up in the middle of nowhere. Then they take all the surge away. There is no other driver up here. I'm the only one up here. So I got to select what I want to get. I don't have to really take no rides. I can just do what I want to do. But yeah, let me cruise over to Buffalo Chips, pick up Brooke. I'll hit y'all back in a minute. These off, they were hilarious. They had me playing Ja Rule and everything. They were like, man, these three ladies, they came out here to have a good time and they were having a good time. They were loving it. But the one lady jumped in the back. It was this was this was a full packed ride. She was like, hey, there's some bottled waters back here. And I was like, so the people before that, it was not, it was this guy and this girl that I dropped off that I drove way up there with. They left their goddamn white claws and their bottle of water in the fucking cup holders in the back. That's one reason why I don't like cup holders in my door. Because people put shit in those cup holders and get out. So my next people get in and it's already fucking dirty back there. I'm like, what the fuck are y'all doing, man? Don't do that shit. I got it on Paw Patrol right now, so they ain't sending me shit. I'm going to cruise up the highway and get this 925. So I'm like, you raggedy motherfuckers, don't sit up there and put that shit in my car. So they were like, oh yeah, there's already stuff back here, so I got to get it out. I'll take it out in a second. I'm going to go get this fucking money, then I'm going to take the shit out. But they were like, yeah, we got an Uber early. They was like, hey, that's the gas station we went to and got $11 worth of gas. And I was like, what? She says, yeah. Because I thought they were about their rental car or something. She says, no, the, the Uber driver we had, he was running out of gas. His gas light came on. And he was like, I'm sorry, but I got to stop and get gas because I'm going to run out. So he had to go stop. And he was like, well, I'm not going to take too long. He went and got $11 worth of gas at this little quick trip on the side of the road. <laughs> they was laughing. They was like, yeah, that's the one we stopped at right there. I was like, oh, Lord. Motherfucker's been around again. She said, you're not going to run out of gas, are you? I was like, no, nah, I keep my eye on my gas all the time. This car is gone. Look at it. This thing is flying. I'm already at 90 miles an hour coming up the ramp. I know everybody looking at me like, what the fuck? But yeah. I got off the ramp. I was at 96 miles an hour coming off the ramp. This car is crazy fast. The ramp wasn't even that long, but it's like you barely touch it, and this thing is just like taking off. And the handling is like way different. It's almost like the traction and everything is like it fixed itself. I guess unhooking that computer might have did something. Because usually when I take off like that, it kind of, it, you got to drive with two hands sometimes. This thing is like flying. It is like, holy shit, this car is moving, man. This thing is nuts. But I'm going to get this 925 right here when I cruise up. But yeah, I love driving this car now, man. It's like, I can't wait to get the charge pipe in. It's going gonna, it's gonna to upset me if I put that charge pipe on and I lose a little power because I'm having fun with this power right now. It's like, hey, I like this. Let's see if I can get this 925. They're going to give it to me as soon as I roll up under it. Yeah, let's get the 925. Let's get it. Should have it by now. Yeah, but they were funny. They got me listening to Beastie Boys and everything right now. I was like, yeah, let's listen to some Beastie Boys. Let's listen to that. They had me listen to everything. That was a good little long trip. We had a good ride. We were cracking up the whole time. So I just cruised up under it. What did they give me? 925. There we go. We got the. I'm getting up at the next exit. So I got my 925. I'm going to get off up here at 32nd Street. And hopefully, yeah do something good maybe i should turn on uber x right now but i want to get off and kind of go you know
know, I'm still up by Paradise Valley right now. So I want to get up and kind of cruise over to where these dollar seventy fives and dollar fifties are. I want to go that way. So I got a funny feeling that's where some some good shit's gonna be right there. Where am I at? Thirty second Street. Now let's go to the next one. I'm gonna get off at Shea Boulevard. The next one. I was gonna get off at thirty second. Nah, I'll get off at the next one so I can use this surge up here. Man, that was a fun ride. That was a fun ride. Let me see if I got tips coming through somewhere. Nope, it increased it a little bit too. But not too bad. I ain't seeing no other tips on it. That $33 ride, those are the people that left that fucking white claw in that water bottle back there. Oh, ragamuffin motherfuckers, boy, I swear. Can't stand that shit. Quit putting shit in my car. So, okay, I'm gonna get off right here, cruise over, use this money to see if I can go further south. It's only 12 o'clock, so everything still looks pretty good right now. Still looking good. Still, I hope somebody don't use an Uber pet on my ass. Like, hey, man, come pick me up with my pony. Motherfucker, my little pony looking ass, motherfucker. I've got a donkey sitting in the backyard. Come pick us up. I'm like, fuck that. Not my beamer. This ain't funkydonkeyrides.com. Fuck that. All right, I'm cruising up here real quick. I'm gonna go over to the gas station and take these water bottles and shit out my fucking car. White claw and water bottles. Hey, these raggedy motherfuckers, man. <sighs> crazy, crazy. I just pulled over and just did it. All right, let me go over to uh, UberX. Let's see what kind of rides I can get on UberX right now. I just pulled over through that shit out on the curb. Fuck that. I'm not gonna be driving everywhere to go get the damn gas station. All right, $22. I got a 925 surge. Oh man. So I got 925. So they're trying to give me five dollars for nine miles, and they're trying to give me, you know, thirteen dollars for 14 miles right there. Oh, and these motherfuckers are driving in the goddamn curb lane. Fourteen dollars for that. Let's accept it. Alright, we'll do that. Because I gotta go that way anyway. These raggedy bastards stay out of the fucking curb lane. It ain't nobody in no other lane except the curb lane. This is a three lane road. Everybody's driving curb lane. The two other lanes are wide the fuck open like nobody's even in them. I'm like, why do people do that shit? Why do people just drive the curb lane the whole fucking street? Somebody's gonna pull out and get smacked doing that shit. You got two whole open fucking lanes with clear visibility of the whole goddamn planet motherfucking earth and you choose to ride the curb all the fucking way down the street. The fuck is wrong with people, man? Dropped off Alex, and now I got another surge sitting right down the street. I'm gonna put it on Paw Patrol real quick. Yeah, I got an Uber pet right now. All right, let's go to Paw Patrol. I'm gonna try to shoot over here and pick up this $11. I don't know if I can get it or not, but I'm gonna try. Hold up. Where we at? All right. Let's curve up. This. I gotta curve around and go the other way. Damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can go get this $11. Ooh, and I got a $5 tip. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Hell yeah. Is that 11 still over there? Yep, that 11 is still sitting over there. Let's go get it. Shit, I'm Paw Patrol. So I got the last nine. Then I, I'm gonna get this 11. $20 in surges using Paw Patrol. That's what I'm talking about. 20 bucks in surges running Paw Patrol. Like I said, you gotta just learn how to do it. Throw that shit on there, and it'll keep, it'll show you where you know the surges really are if you don't have your phone on now you think you're gonna run airplane mode you're gonna lose it because it won't always show you shit in real time airplane mode is, is not what i recommend some people love it oh man if you're running on airplane mode the app won't see you cool do airplane mode but as soon as you come out of airplane mode guess what the surge disappears because you didn't know the surge had uh re it like updated and now you're driving around for nothing so I love to run Paw Patrol because it'll show me the surge is still active as long as I'm driving. The moment I turn this shit off, I'm fucked. And right now I got 79 miles still empty. Woo! That means I'm sitting at about almost an eighth of a tank. I'm just above eighth of a tank. So I'm gonna see how much more. I, I don't know how much money I've made for the day so far, but I'm, I'm glad I'm out cruising right now. Let me get this $5 right there. Bam, there you go. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, but I'm coming up on this 11. Damn, it's the 13 even further up. Eesh. What do I do? What do I do? I can drop down and get the 11 a lot easier than I can get the 13. So I'm going for the 11. The 13 might be a, a straighter shot, though. 
I don't know, the 13 might be a straighter shot because I don't have to turn a corner. I think with the 11, I got to turn a corner and get there. 13 is just straight through. I don't know, man. I don't know. Short of 22 points is a straight line. And I think that 11 is a little bit further than what I'm, I'm ready for. Let's see what they give me with, now that I'm in the red a little bit. They're going to give me four bucks. What you going to give me? Four dollars? 750. All right. Not bad. Not bad. So I got the 750. I can pick up another four dollars or another six. What do I do? Uh, I'm going for it. I'm going past the, the intersection. I'm going past the highway. I'm going to go for the 13. I, for some reason, 13 just looks a little bit easier to get. The 11 might be, but I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, because I got only a short distance to make. A, you know what? I'm going for the 11 because I got a funny feeling all these fucking stoplights are going to catch me. See up there, there's a red light up there already at the highway. The light's red. Let's see what they're going to give me. Give me 11. Give me 11. So I can keep going straight. Give me 11. 925. Nope. Let's turn here. All right. We're going to turn here and go get the 11. The 13 was looking good, but like I said, man, it's just, I, I want the sure thing. Trying to fight those lights up under that bridge and all that shit. Man, there's too many lights. And that's what they do. They hold you back. You be sitting there like, oh, man, I got it, I got it. All of a sudden, light fucking holds you back. You be like, damn, I didn't get nothing. I'm too used to that shit happening to me. So I'm cruising through here real quick. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I'm still going straight. All right, let me pick up this 11. And the $2 is sitting back there. And I don't care about the $2. All right, I'm at $9.50. Where am I at? So I'm at the 11. Let me throw on. I'm gonna turn right here because I can. I think I got the 11 already. Damn it! I thought you were giving me the 11. What happened? These raggedy motherfuckers. They didn't give me the 11 yet. Let me pull over right here. All right. Now I got the 11. Let's go on Uber X. Let's see what we got. So I got the 11, and I'm gonna turn around in here real quick, and I'm gonna sit. $16 for like seven miles. It's taking me down to 76th Street. Ooh, I could do that. Let's do that. Let's see if they'll match me up with it. Both of them. Ooh, one's going south, one's going north. Perfect. I hope I get the south one. Please give me the south one. Don't give me the north one. Let's go. All right, bet. So they're going to give me the south one. I'm going to go down here and pick up Kev. All right, I like that. I like that play right there. I like that play. So thank you, Uber. You got me out here. Like I said, I don't know how much money I've made for the day. I haven't been able to keep track because I it's just been boom, 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 bam. And I've been in some areas I normally don't drive in. Normally, I'm down in Tempe, Mesa, downtown. I know those areas. I'm way up in North Scottsdale, Cave Creek. I don't know these areas too well, so I'm paying attention to where I am. And there's a million fucking lights everywhere I go. Of course, million lights. And I'm not sitting at this fucking light. I'm not sitting here all night. I cannot believe they got lights on. This is the back road. There's nothing back here. Why in the hell do they got fucking lights back here? I don't know. But I'm not worried about that shit. I got shit to do. I got to get going. Dropped Kev off. So that was that little 1683 right there, which is pretty good. That was that $11 surge on there. So it was 563 for 4.8 miles. Now, I went north. Exactly what I was trying not to do. <laughs> so now I'm back up by that Sonora, just north of the highway. And I'm like, I was hoping it was going to take me south. That's why I hate trip radar sometimes. They don't tell you if that shit's going north, south, east, west. They just say, hey, here's the distance and here's the amount. And you got to fucking hope. Like, man, I hope this shit's going the way I'm going. But it went north. So I'm still far north. I mean, there's not a lot of search anywhere around town. This is one of the flattest Saturdays I've seen in a minute. Last night was crazy, crazy. Tonight is flat, like right behind it, flat. I'm, I'm at 130 for the night, 130 bucks. Only been cruising around for like, you know, three hours to get that. But you know me, I'll be scouting like a motherfucker. I've driven, looked at $13 in tips. These raggedy motherfuckers knowing damn well I'm doing better than that. Uh, what do I got on Lyft over here? Uh, let me see. What do I got on Drift? Uh, I don't know because some of that's from the early morning. Uh, you only did a few rides. I think I had like 61, probably about 40 bucks. So I'm about a probably 170 bucks for the day so far. Cause I think that was already at 73 to start my day. So about $30 is what I really made on Lyft so far, 30 bucks. And 
So I'm at about 160, 170 right now. But eh, they ain't got no surge up nowhere for anybody. Let me look where I'm at. Yeah, I'm going to cruise over to Thompson Peak and drop back down again. Let me go online and see if they got surge popping up anywhere. All the surge is down south. They got any up in Cave Creek again. $12 to cruise over there. 12 bucks. No, I'm not going that way. No, that's like 16 miles for $12. I'm not going that way right now. Let me turn this shit off real quick. Yeah, because they ain't, they not going to give me any good rides up here. There's no surge or nothing, so they're going to send me a whole bunch of like rides that ain't even a dollar a mile. That's what they're going to be doing. I'm going to be getting 60 cent a mile rides up here the whole time. So let's just turn that shit off, call it good. I think I got Paw Patrol running over here. Well, it's offline right now. Let me turn it on to see if there's any surge anywhere. See if there's any surge anywhere. Nope, nowhere near me. All south. That's why I want to be south. All the surge is south. So let me turn this shit off too. Cruise with me some beastie boys and kick back for a minute. All right, the time is now. 124 in the morning. I'm down to an eighth of a tank. Eighth of a tank. 55 miles to go, so I got to pull over and get me some gas. I thought I could make it through the night, but I'm not. I'm going to try to drive to at least 4 or 5 o'clock, and that ain't going to hold me that far. While I'm sitting here getting gas, I just went through my app real quick to see if somebody tipped me on Uber. And sure enough, this slow-ass app be taking its time. Look at that, 140 Got 140 bucks on there because the ladies, where are they at? Right here, they tipped me. So that came out pretty good right there. They tipped me 960 for this trip right here. So 31 minutes, you know, 26 miles. I don't like the distance. The miles are killing me. That That's a long ride. But I had to get out of Cave Creek anyway. So I ended up, you know, driving 31 minutes, came south to where I wanted to be, got the 26 miles out the way, $32. Appreciate that. Then right behind that, I got that, you know, $5 tip with the 925 surge with the 1903. So out of $14, that was really a $5 trip for four miles right there. Not bad. I, I kind of dig that. That was a cool trip. Then I got the $11 surge right behind it, trapped that. And so that one came out to be, a, that was a $5.83 for four miles. $11 surge made it $16.83. So I've had surge, tip surge, tip, loving it. Tip surge. I'm, I'm killing it tonight with a tip surge. Still nothing on this long ass trip. So that one that got me way up there, still don't have nothing. So they need to kind of come correct on that shit. That wasn't cool. But before that, I got a tip. So a lot of tips and a lot of surge tonight. Only one trip didn't give me any tip or surge. One trip didn't give me no tip. Everybody else was tip or surge. So kind of doing okay. I'm kind of doing okay. 140 over here, about 30 over on um, Uber, on Lyft. So I got about $170 for the night. So yeah, 170, I can make another 130 to make it a $300 night. I think I can do 130. It's only 127. I got about another three, four hours to drive. I can make another 130. So if I do 500 last night, 300 tonight, it's $800 in two nights. Can I do it? Because I need an $800 weekend. I've been having $600 all week. 600 bucks all week is what I've been getting. If I can make 800 in two days, I'm back. Beamer Bucks is back. <laughs> Okay, that was my total, 14 gallons, that's it, 14 gallons, 53 bucks. Let me go around here real quick. Man, it's kind of chilly out here tonight. All right, let's see what I got as far as miles go. Hey, 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 looking good, looking good. 421, hey, 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 133, 421 miles to go. And guess what my car says? Welcome, Jeffrey Watts. Let's go out there and get this money. I'm taking my little break out on gassed up. Ate me a couple of nasty ass Jack in the Box tacos because I'm far from home right now. So now my lips are on fucking fire. I tell people spicy food be killing me, man. I don't know. And people say them them damn tacos at Jack in the Box ain't spicy. To me they are because I don't eat spicy food. So now I gotta ride around drinking motherfucking juice to cool my lips off. <laughs> Let me see what I got going, man. There's a lot of surge out there tonight. A lot of surge. There's an event going on where I'm at right now, though. Um, let me show you this right let me open up uber real quick because on uber they'll show you what the event is it's like a that tiktok event thing so i'm pretty sure it's going to be some surge jumping over there later and it's that it's right up uh dobson or whatever it's right up over here that tiktok thing right there so it starts in about an hour it's two o'clock now it's going to start about three so 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump on lift real quick see if I can pick up a couple of cheap ass rods just to keep my night kind of moving like I said if I get a couple of things under 10 miles I'll take them they gotta be on because I want to stay in this area I want to see what's up with that TikTok thing ah I said under 10 huh <laughs> yeah I don't want that because I don't feel like jumping back on the highway and going way over there so we're gonna close that out yeah, I don't feel like driving way over there. I just want to stay in this general vicinity here. They're going to keep taking surge further and further away from me. You see how that gap is right there? Watch how that gap gets wider the closer I get. Nope, still too far. It's like, I'm not doing that. Still too far away. So as I drive, you're going to start seeing that little gap get further and further. $6 to take me right inside of Tempe. Um, no, nah, let's not. Because that's like I said, I don't feel like jumping on the highway. They keep trying to make me get on the highway and I'm not. See what I said? Look, they, you see how they're opening up that gap a little bit more further and further? Look back at the video. You'll see where that used to be. They keep moving it further and further away from me the more I drove. Now they let me actually touch it and get like 225 out of it. But if you look at the video, look at how it was going. Uh, nine miles for that. Uh, $9. Let's take that. Let's take it. But I'm not jumping on the highway. I'm going to go this way and get them. Yeah, that's the way I'm going to go. Go pick up Caillou over at Doc and Eddie. So let's go pick up Caillou. Hey, Caillou is that, that cartoon, but it's just spelled differently, I think. I don't know. Caillou. Look at that motherfucker. Let's go. Right now, this motherfucker, they just tried to send me to Scottsdale to pick somebody up. I'm in Tempe. They tried to send me all the way up here to pick somebody up to bring them all the way back south of where I am for 25 bucks it was like something like nine miles up 12 miles back 22 miles total damn near for 25 dollars now one thing when you get to scottsdale there's no guarantee that people gonna even find you so that's nine miles of driving with no guarantee you're gonna get a ride because it's a clusterfuck up there so you go way up there and you don't even get a ride you be like i can't find my people they could have jumped in the car and went to somebody else they seen that shit y'all seen that shit before in my videos motherfucker jump in the car with somebody else they're like, hold the fuck up, wait a minute. How the hell I'm gonna get here and you're gonna jump in the car with somebody else? See, look at that shit. Picking up somebody and drop the motherfuckers up there. Nah, I'm not doing that. No, not for that price. Not for that. Well, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Where are we going? Okay, native. Alright. This is just next to me right here. Alright, let's go over and pick this motherfucker up at native. Well shit, I'm sitting right next to it. What the fuck? I thought I had to go down the street. It's actually, I'm sitting right next to it at the corner. I'm <laughs> like, whoops, sorry about that. Like, let me hit a ride real quick. I thought I had to drive down the street to get to the motherfucker. I was sitting right next to it. Shit, okay. My bad, my bad. I'm glad I took the motherfucker. I almost didn't. He's like, oh shit, my ride's right next to me. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, here we go. That was a quick ass pickup. Shit. Let's go, Maxwell Smart. Get smart looking ass, motherfucker. Dropped off Max. Uh, I don't have lift open. I dropped them off on lift. That was that trip right there that got me up here With that 1332 so it got me up here or whatever But now I'm looking at I'm gonna open up uber real quick and see what's up going on up here Just to make sure I'm not missing some good surge because like I said, it's 2 30 by 3 o'clock I wanted to be back down in that other area. I think I still got it on uber pet So what do we got on uber right now? What do we got? Tell me what that surge is right there Tell me what that surge is, you ragamuffins. They won't tell me. Because I'm too close to it. I'm sitting right next to it. They won't tell me what it is. Oh, jackasses. I'm going to find out because I'm going to turn that way anyways. Let's see. All right, so let's find out what this surge is. 825. What? There we go. There we go. It must be, it must be good in here. It must be like 15 bucks in here. 825. Damn. Tell me what the surge is. What's the max surge? What's the max? What's the max? I got to get to the center of it because I'm going to find out how much this surge is. They're not telling me. It's like, what is this fucking jack in the box? Like, I got to get a surprise. I got lift off right now. Uber, I'm going to give them a couple of seconds so they can make this surge pop. See what they give me. See what they give me. All right. They just put 825 right there. So let's go back to Uber X. Boop, boop. Let's see what we get, baby. Let's see what we get. There's a Circle K up here. I can hang out and scout rides right up here if I felt like it. $13 for like six miles. All right, let's do that. Let's take that and let's whip this motherfucker around and go back and go get this money. All right. Skrrr.
dropping it brought me back down to where the event is the event is right over here i mean it's straight across from me right there because this is my last little quick trip i did that one little 1359 trip it's pretty easy pretty easy i had that 825 surge on a 3.4 miles had to get up to them got them down there but that's where the next little it's 252 right now so it's not really booming yet let me go back over and look at lift real quick like i said right now i'm just kind of hopping between apps trying to see who's going to pay me the most I mean, I got 150 on one, 130 on the other one, but I already know on Lyft, it was already $70 from the morning. So really, this is like about $60. So it's 60 over here, and it's a true, over here, I think it's it's a true 150. So I got about 210 bucks so far, because that started out at zero. So I got a, about 210 for the day, because like I said, this already had 70 on it when I first started my day out. But I'm sitting in a bonus right now. Uh, let's go, let's take a risk. Let's see something. Let's take a chance. Let's see what they're going to do. If they give me something under 10 miles, I might do it. Because I want to stay by that little, you know, TikTok event that they're letting out 3 or 4 o'clock. So I want to see what exactly they got going on over here. Uber has nothing. Yeah, I can't do that. Can't do it. 16 miles for $13, that's too far south. I can't do it. Because I'm trying to stay in the area where I'm at. I'd go anywhere in Tempe. I'd even go over to where the $3 is. I would risk and go back up north up here. I mean, they got $11 surge sitting up there. Look at that, eight drivers sitting in there, seven. $11 Q sitting in there. Can't do it, it's too far south. Nine miles south, I can't go that far south, sorry. But yeah, you see that $11, there's drivers in that Q right there. They got an $11 Q right there, and it's all drivers sitting in it. And I'm just right down the street from it. I mean, I'm, I'm right here, if I can take a ride straight north, I don't know, 25 miles total for 19? I don't think I could do that either. I mean, if they want to send me straight north, I'll go straight north and get some of that $11 surge right there if they wanted me to. But I can either go straight north or I can go over to the three. That's the only places I can go. I can't go back downtown Phoenix. Even though it's money down there, I can't go that way. Because I got to go either, you know, I got to go east or I got to go north. South, there's nothing south. I can't go south. They try to send me south each time. There's nothing down there. So I'm kind of hanging where I am right now. Let me go back over on Uber and check something out. Let's see something real quick. Yep, only downtown. Well, downtown, they have nothing for Uber right now. Let's see. Let me open up Uber Pet because that's the only way I can really see it. Okay, let's see if they throw some surge out there somewhere. Nope, they don't have anything for Uber. So if I do anything, I'll be stuck doing Lyft. Let me see if Uber will send me back north real quick. Let's see some. Because if Uber sends me north and I got that surge, I got that $11 that's sitting up there on Lyft, and I can cruise up the street and probably grab some of that up there. But first, let's see what they got. Uh, $4.80 going to the airport. That's Terminal 4 for the airport. $4.80, 1207 for 11 miles to take some soggy tacos. Not doing that. Look at that shit. Multiple stops going to the airport to Terminal 4. And they're paying you $4.80 at 3 o'clock in the fucking morning. 3 o'clock in the morning. That's crazy. $24 to go way out to Goodyear. That's too far west. It's 34 miles out to the west. Can't do that. Because And some of these trips, just they're not worth it. Somebody took that 481? Nuts. There's another 771 for five miles right there. And that's going over to Apache and Tears. 1069 for some MacDoodoos. 15 miles for that. Let's go see what Lyft's talking about. Oh, $8 to go north. $8 to go north. Let's take it. I'll do that. So I'm going to go pick up John, and I'm going to go north because that's where it seems like some of the money's at. Nope, not doing that. All right, let's go offline real quick. Let's go pick up John, take John up north. Hopefully the surge is still up there when I get there. Tried to be slick just now. I was dropping John off, and it was a girl. And Lyft kept trying to send me rides back to back. 15 miles, I mean $15 for like 22 miles, $16 for like 30 miles. They kept doing it. Oh, they don't have no surge no more. So they pulled the surge that I was coming up here for. They pulled it, but dude was cool though. So, you know, that ride was like an $8 ride, but then it had a surge on it. And then he tipped me on it. So it was almost $3 a mile. So it was the $5, the $3 bonus, so that was the eight, and then the base was five, so $13, and total was like, you know, five miles. I was like, cool, I'll do that. That's what's up right there. Easy ride, easy ride. So hopefully, 
they bring that damn surge back up here because I'm up here now. So you might as well put the money back. So I got set about $75 on Lyft right now. 75 is on Lyft. And I don't know how much is on Uber right now. Let's see. What do we got on Uber? What do we got on Uber? So 75 over there, 154 puts me at about 220, 230. 70 more dollars puts me at $800 in two days. I need 70 more dollars. That's all I need is 70 bucks. So if I can get 70 more bucks, I made $800 in two days, which is good, which is good for a shit period like right now. I think I still got it on Uber Pet, so I'm gonna turn this motherfucker on right now. See if they got anything up here. Uh, nope. And it's not even surging where that little event was down there, so. Yeah, they don't have anything over here, so we're, we're gonna go offline here. Nope, not updating. I still ain't updated yet. I've been doing good without the update. I've been making bank. <laughs> Since I came back online, they're like, dude, how's this dude killing us? He ain't even got the update. This motherfucker's killing us, man. It's like, I don't need the update, damn it. And look, I was down by Tempe, and they pulled the surge from Tempe. Remember that shit? When I was down by Tempe, and look what happened. They put the surge up here in Scottsdale. Oh, raggedy motherfuckers. And that's way too far south. $12 for like 17 miles. No, that's way too far south. Nah. I got a Circle K across the street. I might go over there real quick and hang out. Because right now I ain't getting shit sitting here. I ain't getting shit. Uh, yeah. All right, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to turn the corner right here. I'm going to turn this corner. And I'm going to say I don't want to go north. I actually want to go south. So I'm going to do a fucking U-turn right here. And then I'm going to go through this light right here. That's how you do it the legal way, but the illegal way. <laughs> you do a fucking fish hook. That ain't a U-turn, motherfucker. That was a fish hook. See, what the hell you doing, man? I fucking went down the street, you turned at the intersection, came back through the intersection. That's a fucking fish hill. <laughs> Motherfucker don't do U-turns no more. Shit, I created a whole new driving pattern. I'm finna fish hook the shit out this motherfucker. All right, so I'm going out here. I'm gonna cut over to the west a little bit. Drop down $3 for that. No, I don't want to do that. Y'all not giving me no surge. Ain't nobody getting no $3 rides at 3 in the morning. Give me some fucking surge on that. They're like, we don't want to give you surge, and I don't want to give you a ride. Fucking, we got mutual energy, motherfucker. You don't want to pay me no surge, I don't want to give a ride. I think we both agree to disagree. Here's a motherfucker with no headlights on right here. I ain't seen that in a minute. Oh, yeah, they hurry up and drop that surge. See that shit? They saw me heading to it. They fucking took that shit away. As soon as I started heading down this damn street, they pulled that shit quick as a motherfucker. It's like, nope, don't give them surge. Don't give them no surge. Make them pay. All right, let's see for a second. I'm gonna see exactly how much. Ten dollars for 12 miles. No, we're not doing that. It's like 13 miles. All right, let's see how much Lyft is in the hole for right now. Lyft is Lyft is up 54 dollars. What? They're up 54 dollars. Damn. Okay, so they're up 54 dollars. Get out of there. That's crazy. That's crazy for the because they were only up like fifteen dollars or something weird like that. So they've been charging the shit out of people all day, not paying me shit. Look at that. Twelve dollars? No, nah. for that many miles? No, nah, that's like shit. Nineteen miles? Nope, nope. Sorry about that. All right, let's go offline for a second. Cause I want to see something. They keep sending me rides, and I'm not trying to see them fucking bullshit rides. All right, let's go in here real quick. So 304 is what they charge all these passengers out of the 304. I've gotten 197 of it. My tips are only $19. So I think they're stealing some of my fucking tips. I only got 197 out of 304. So it's almost a hundred dollars they took. Out of that hundred, they paid 53 for insurance and all of that crazy shit. So they paid $53 towards insurance and everything. Come on, let me open it. There we go. Insurance, 34, taxes, 19, stuff like that. So Lyft ended up making $54 off of me. So they made $54. This week so far, I made $216 and they actually banked $54 off of me. Not bad. But without fucking surge, I'm not driving. And I think how they, they're making killings off of me is with these, they're trying to sell comfort rides and all these weird ass rides. They're overcharging every fucking body and they're not paying us no money. Let me go in here real quick. Because that was for the week. So I really think today is where they made their money at. Not yet, because at the end of the day, they only had like $15, so they made an extra $40 today off of me, an extra 40 bucks. Because I've did 12 rides today, and they made an extra $40, so they've been making an average about $3 per ride off of me. They've been making about 3 bucks a ride off of me today. So, 
that's that's on them. That's cool for them, motherfucker. Cool for them. But if you ain't paying me, my app's turned off. Like I said, I would have been in a surge right now with my app on, but then since they pulled the surge away from me, I just turned my phone off like, fuck it. I'm not going to be driving around for free. Fuck that shit. Especially with these motherfuckers, $3 rides and shit. They're getting greedy. They're getting greedy. They're already making money off of me, but now they're getting greedy. They're like, shit, we're only making $3 a ride off of them. We're only making 3 bucks a ride. Well, what do we do? Well, just start ta fucking taking surge away and just start making them drive for cheap. Yeah, you do that shit, and I'll pull that motherfucker real quick. Look at that. TikTok in the mix, looking ass. All right, let's go up the inbox real quick, see what they got. Uh, that was a couple hours ago. I got that 963. That was the ladies, my Mercedes, looking ass. Yep, that was them from Cave Creek coming down. We had fun. That was a fun ride. Had me playing some motherfucking Ja Rule. <laughs> some old school Ja Rule. What about Ja Rule? Man, fuck Ja Rule. <laughs> that shit's funny as hell. Dave Chappelle was like, what about Ja Rule? Ja! Fuck Ja. Yeah, so looks like it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I made the 154 plus the 70 puts me at 75 puts me at about 2.30. So 2.30 might be all I can make today. Because right now these motherfuckers ain't doing shit right. I could drive to about 5 in the morning, but they not really paying much right now. So I could actually... I could turn, let me see. I'm going to turn Uber on real quick. See if they got any surge anywhere. Nope, I'm up to 16% AR. But like I said, ain't no surge out there. So I'll turn this shit off. If it ain't no surge, it ain't no curves. I'm not rolling for you motherfuckers. Nope, nope, nope. All right, so I'm in the bonus zone now. So let's go online and see what they're going to get me. I'm in the bonus zone. They probably going to yank that shit as soon as I get down the street. $12 for nine miles no i'm not going backwards nope nope not for that because they sold that trip for a little bit more than that i mean it's three o'clock in the morning on saturday they sold that trip for a lot more than that and they willing to give me a dollar a mile for that on a saturday night at three in the morning they're going to give me a dollar a mile i'm cool on that shit it's like that motherfucker can probably walk to where they got to get to and the uber's gonna be like or lips gonna be like man we ain't making no money off these drivers man what the fuck seven dollars for five miles uh nah we're cool on that shit i'm not going backwards i'm going south right now give me a ride that's south of me and it can go in either direction you want to go just make sure it's south of me and not north of me oh definitely not 12 going far north because i don't live up that way 12 dollars for like 14 miles that's way up north nope i'm going south i'm going south you guys got to get with the program get with the fucking program if they give me something going south for about nine ten dollars you know going like maybe seven miles i could do that but right now they're they're bullshitting with this money right now at three o'clock in the morning i'm not gonna make that last forty dollars i'm not the 40 i should have made they actually stole it from me <laughs> the 40 i should be up they fucking stole it from me it's like i know how much i wanted to make today and it's like you know let's get his ass let's take forty dollars from his ass like you rag them off and motherfuckers $19 for like 27 miles. Mm, I could do that actually, and that'd be half of my shit, but that's not quite a dollar a mile. So Saturday night at that, nah, we're cool. And I don't even live in that direction anyway, so they're gonna have to figure something out with that. I'll probably have to jump back over on Uber in a second. Because these motherfuckers, they they're just like bullshitting right now. Eleven dollars for like 13 miles? Mm, nah, we're cool on that shit. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they're doing anything spectacular right now. If I can get back down to Tempe, I could pick up, you know, four dollar bonus or something like that. They're not giving me nothing south right now. That's how they can get it. They like, give me a trip going south. That's how you get this car. Sending me north on nature hikes and shit. That's not how you get this car. Alright, let's put it back on. Ooh, yeah, it's already on Uber X. Perfect. Now they're like, oh, he's on over on the other end. $13 to go far north, 14 miles. Nope. Let's see what Uber's talking about. $3 to go four miles is about. Nope. Definitely not. All right, let's see who's got something for me. Let's see what you got. Oh, hell no. These motherfuckers got donuts and weird shit and everything else. Whataburger again? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. 
What's Liv talking about? $10 to go fucking 10 miles. Nope. $8 to go 8 miles. Nope. We're not going back that way. Damn, these cars are running lights and everything. I know that dude was scared as a motherfucker. That was an Uber, too. That motherfucker just ran that light in front of everybody. Everybody's like, oh, shit. These people can't drive. All right, what do you got? What you got? 373? No. You know what? Let's turn Uber off because Uber don't have no surge. They're not sending nothing anyways. So let's just turn them off, get them out the way. Until they put surge or something on the screen. Because like I said, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, almost 3.30. And damn, $11 for 12 miles going far south? No, I'm cool on that shit. That's way too far south. I said, you can give me a $10 ride to the airport right now, I'll take it. $10 to the airport? I can do that. But with every other thing y'all doing, nah, I'm cool on that shit. Cool on that. So there's some funny shit right here. So I open up the next week quest from Monday through Friday. If you do 70 trips, if you do 80, they'll give you $35. 80 trips. I'll usually select the minimum. So if I do 20 trips, they're going to give me five bucks. If I do 30, they're going to give me 10 bucks. That's 30 cents a trip they willing to give me. Hey, man, we're going to give you an extra 30 cents for every trip you do. How's that for an amazing app? You raggedy motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm going to choose that one, though. All right. Now, let's see what else they got in here. Bunch of nothing. I got it on Paw Patrol right now, so they don't fuck with me. But, yeah, it's like, man, th these trips are hilarious. They, I mean, when I'm looking at some of these, here's 20 by this one here. I got, I got 20 minutes left to do seven more trips. But I don't chase this shit because it's not worth it. Like I said, I'm doing... I'm only doing minimum trips for these and I'm still having record days. The reason why is because I don't give a fuck about these pennies. Go for the profits. Fuck the pennies. I made 500 yesterday just doing great customer service, good and great tips, shit like that. Tonight, I made almost 300. I made about 230, 240 tonight. Same thing, doing great customer service, great tips. And I'm not putting in a lot of hours or a lot of miles or even a lot of trips because you don't got to do that shit. Like today I did what? Seven trips. Seven trips today got me 154 bucks. I just didn't feel like driving a whole lot of fucking trips. I was like, no, I'm not doing that shit. I was chasing surge. There's my surge. 825. Surge 11. Surge 925 with a five dollar tip. A 963 tip. Three dollar tip. You know, 425 surge. Here we go again. No surge on now. No tip. That one. 531 tip. I can go get money. Why do I need 30 cents a fucking trip? Why do I need to get 30 cent extra per trip when I can get $11 per trip? $11 surge. When I get $9.25 per trip, when I can go get another $4.25 per trip, why do I want 30 cents per trip? Because at 30 cents per trip, 30 cents, in order for me to get $4.25 surge, I've got to drive at least 13 miles, I think. I mean, 13 trips. I got to drive 13 trips to get $4.20 if I'm only getting 30 cents a trip. Why the hell would I want to go drive like 14 goddamn trips, 14 trips just to get $4.20 when I can just do one and get $4.20? You got to, this shit has, you got to get logic out of this shit. You got to start making it make sense because a lot of the shit they talking about, it don't even make sense. To anybody out here driving and jumping around going, oh my God, they're going to give me 30 cents per trip. Dude, go get Surge. If they're going to give me $30, I mean, they're going to give me $10. $10 if I do 30 trips. $10. That's all they're going to give me is 10 bucks. Check this shit out. This Surge right here was 11 $11 on one trip. So that just killed what I did in 30 trips. If 30 trips will give me $10 extra, I could throw that shit on Paw Patrol and go get $11 extra on one trip and be done. <laughs> These motherfuckers, they just, it don't make sense to me. This shit just don't make sense. But yeah, I'm going to close out tonight. I think I'm done for the night. I mean, what, 154 over here. And then I got, you know, wait a minute. Here I got lift. 154 over here. And then I had already 70, so about 75. So yeah, I'm over 200. So 154, let's say 155 plus uh, 75. Puts me around about mm, 235, 240, somewhere in that area. Not bad. I'm not going to try to go for another 60 bucks because they ain't really doing shit. Like I said, these trips are all dried the fuck up.
$13 trips, you can go online and you can see there's nothing going to pop up anywhere in here. They got Surge up in Scottsdale, nothing in Tempe. Look at that, $7 to go like 11 miles, 9 miles. $7 to go 9 miles. Like, no, nah, nobody wants to do that shit. Not at this, it's 3.44 in the morning. So this is when you got to just call it good and let them know, you know, we're not driving because ain't no surge out. There's nothing out. It's not worth it. So that's my, what, Saturday night, early Sunday morning. I think I'm done for the next couple of days. Sitting there hanging out at Quick Trip and I didn't even realize that I had this thing was still online. So I've been on Paw Patrol the whole damn time. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> It's like, oh shit, I've been on Paw Patrol the whole time. My bad, my bad. But whatever the case may be, uh, we got some surge sitting right around the corner. That's down on Mill Avenue, which is not too far from me. It's right around the corner. I could go get the 350. That's only like a mile away. So, you know, it, it would be cool so I can get that 350 and do some airport rides in the morning. But the rides I might get might be around about $9. Same with that, $5 right down the street. So let's fire this motherfucker up and go down the street because all the money seems to be sitting down the street. So let's go down there real quick and see if I can't get some good money. See what we see what we got. Um, and I've been sitting there long enough. All these workers are probably like, why is that dude just sitting there? Like, dude, don't fucking worry about me. You worry about you, motherfucker. You doing your job, I'm doing mine. So let me cruise my ass over here real quick. Cause I guarantee when I get over here, they're gonna fucking pop that surge away quick as shit. Cause they always do it, especially on Lyft. Like, look at where the surge is right now. Now, watch what happens when I go online. Lyft is notorious for this shit. All right, so I'm getting some surge action. Some Mr. Jackson. Woo, I am for real. Looking at ass, motherfucker. So I'm going to sneak up in here and see if I can get some of this money real quick. Uh, $9 to go way the fuck up north. No, I'm not going to Scottsdale. Not for no nine bucks. I'll go to the airport for 10 10 or $11, i will go back to the airport. 10 or $11, I'll shoot backwards. But for the most part, no, nah, I'm not doing this shit. They've got to figure it out. Because like I said, they're notorious for trying to get me to go north, south, all over the fucking place. Like, there we, another one, north, far as north. I'm not trying to go way the fuck up north. It's like, I'm trying to stay south. I'm trying to stay right where I am. 12 bucks to go like 19 miles damn near. Man, and I live on this side of town. I'm, I'm kind of close to where I live. So I'm trying to go get this 475 and all this shit so I can give me some airport money to head back. So if I'm gonna do this, let's go inside of Uber real quick and shut them down because they're not doing shit anyways. They dropped the surge down to $1.25. They're not worth my time. Let's keep going for this lift shit. Oh man, close, close. Look at that. 275 bonus. Man, you gave it to me too early, dog. Gave it to me almost nine miles. I said 10 bucks to the airport, y'all. You're 75 cents off. We're 65 cents off. And I will do that shit for 65 cents because you can have gave me a better surge than that. Don't fuck with me. I usually do airport runs for $20 in the morning. And this is what you're doing to me all fucking morning. Nah, I'm not doing 926 for like seven miles almost. Nope. 275 bonus. We can sneak right in a little quick. We got a $4 bonus now. Let's do it. Now let's start getting rides. Now you can send me to the airport. $10, $11 to the airport. Let's make it happen. Because usually, like I said, I do them for like 20 bucks all morning. But I know how Lyft operates. They're a bunch of cheap motherfuckers. This is Kmart right here. We used to call Kmart came apart because <laughs> this should be falling apart. Anything you buy from Kmart, be like, came apart. Motherfucker, where you buy that from? Came apart. Shit. That's fucking lift. They fucking falling apart right now. Motherfucking fall apart. So if you motherfuckers want to get some round, I'm going to go sit up here at this jack in the box. $15. $15 to go up north to grab some fucking body to bring them back to the airport. Damn, that's like 12 miles for 15 bucks, though. No, nah, let's not do that. We're gonna we're gonna cruise over here to this Jack in the Box. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'll I'll do like six miles for about you know twelve thirteen dollars, but twenty dollars go way up there. No, we're not going up there. This is 24, 25 miles of driving almost. I'm back down to two seventy five because they're not gonna give me any extra money. They're trying to get me deeper in, like where that six dollars is, that five dollars. That's a little deeper in there. So I'm I'm basically right around the corner from it. But for two seventy five, I could sit and chill for a second. I'm not going no further. They could have just gave me the four while I was. I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to get me to tuck myself deeper into Tempe so they can link me into some Chandler shit. People trying to go to work this morning. Everybody's trying to go to fries and shit like that because they got those schedules in the morning. And I don't have a fries in my area. The fries are over on Baseline and Guadalupe, I think. So there's, the fries over here is over by Southern. 
and I'm not close enough to that fries. That's like Southern and maybe McClintock Mills, something like that. I don't even fucking know. Yeah, Mills, Mills. It's Southern and Mills is the fries over there. I'm not close enough to it. So they're trying to get me to dip a little bit farther there because once I get over there, there's a fries over there. So for another dollar fifty, they can get me around the corner because it is right there. I can swing around the corner. Either that's going to be an airport run or that's going to be a fries run. One of the two. Don't know, but let's go see. I ain't got shit else to do. And it's empty as a motherfucker out here, so I'm loving this shit. There ain't not a goddamn car out. It's early Sunday morning. Nobody's out but me. Man, I'm finna punch this motherfucker. No, I'm not gonna do that. Fuck around and fishtail and end up in a goddamn sticker bushes. <laughs> they be like, dude, we just showed up. It's a beamer in the fucking sticker bushes in the middle of nowhere. Like this idiotic motherfucker's all by himself in the middle of the street doing this shit. There's a lift driver right there. All right. Nine dollars to the airport? Uh, no, nah, I don't think so. We're not gonna do that. Like I said, ten dollars. You motherfuckers going backwards, man. Y'all going backwards. It's like you gotta go up, go up. You were short, and now you're getting shorter. It's like, dude, I'm not doing that shit. It's gonna be people mad as a motherfucker. They can't get to the airport because Lyft is fucking with them. It's like, dude, get that price up. I got a three fifty bonus, so you just made that a six dollar and fifty cent airport run at fucking four thirty in the morning. We're not doing that. That's not how we operate. Like I said, I'm a realist. I'm a realist with this shit. Nine dollars for that? Was that seven miles almost for nine dollars? No, we're not gonna do that either. With a 350 bonus, I could do better than that. Like I said, there's 525 just ahead, so it's not too bad. 525 is just ahead, and they're trying to get me closer to to go towards Chandler or something like that. I already know what they're doing. If they get you closer to Chandler, you're gonna be taking everybody to work at Fry's in the morning. So the best thing for you to do is to kind of like hold your fucking ground for a second. I mean, I'll go south right here because I, it's the only way I can get linked in and go around. So I'm at a $4 bonus. All right, I'll see where you at. I'm trying to do this shit before the crazy cars come out for Sunday morning traffic. Everybody going to be going to church. She they finna go get sanctified, lady. Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. I like that. Let's take down $11 for the airport. I'll do that. Uh, where we at? Oh, shit is fucking behind me. All right, let's turn around. Let's go behind me. All right, cause these motherfuckers right here. Man, man, man. I had to U-turn at the damn light. They, they could have did that shit earlier. $11 for the airport? I'll do $11. That's fine. I'll do $11. But I'm not doing no $9. I, 10 was my minimum. I was like, I'll take at least 10. They gave me 11. Fine, fuck it. Let's do 11. Pick a cat up right about here. Hopefully there ain't no gate gate code shit. Man, this car is flying. That shit is, man, that is, I swear this car feels like it wants to pop a wheelie. I love it. But I, I got a funny feeling I'm going to lose it. <laughs> the moment I switch pipes, I'm going to be like, man, now it's back to normal again. It was fast when it was normal, but man, this shit is fun. It's, it feels like it just wants to pop a wheelie. This shit be like, whoa. It's got to be somebody else. All right. Ah, uh, Yushi. That's motherfucking, that's like Street Fighter. <clears throat> ah, Yushi! <laughs> Me hit a ride. Ah, Yushi! Motherfucker, this is like Yu-Gi-Oh shit right now, man. We over here playing motherfucking Street Fighter 2. We doing some anime. Ah, Yushi! <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't tell me this is them. It's like three people. You're kidding me. Oh, I hope this is not them. It's three people, three suitcases. Uh, maybe it's, I don't know. We're about to find out. Three people, three suitcases. Bet not be them, I swear to God. This bet not be them. No, nah, because the one I'm looking at is not moving at all. It's still in the middle of the apartment complex. I could go through the gate while the gate's open, but no, I'm not going to do that shit. You know what, fuck it, let's go through the gate. If they're going to have it open, let's go through the gate. Let's cut through the gate real quick. Let's go. Let's go before the gate closes. All right. Now I'm headed over. So I got through the gate. Oops. Seat belt, seat belt. All right. So I got through the gate. I'm going to go down here, circling around. I usually better be ready, I swear. Because I normally don't do this. I'll cancel a motherfucker for an airport run. I do it all the time. If you're not ready, I mean, it's not scheduled anyways. This is just like 
my regular airport run. So if you ain't ready, I'm gone. Ah, Yushi. Ah, Yushi. That was that quick drop. Now I'm headed out of the airport. Let me see if I can go back to Tempe and pick somebody else up. But come on, you idiots. Drive. What are you doing? Six dollars for seven miles? No, I'm not. No, I'm not doing this shit. Not for no six dollars. These idiots can't drive over here. So yeah, you gotta kind of get that price up a little bit. Airport traffic, stupid. I'm not doing it for no less than a damn dollar a mile. It's like no, no. I don't care how close they are. Well, you just write that. Nope, nope. Don't give a shit. Don't give a shit. I'm not coming back to this airport for no six dollars. So they got me fucked up with somebody else. You gotta get that price up. Get that price up. It's like the only way I'll come back to the airport for that price is if I had like a three rides for $21 streak going and I needed that ride to finish that streak. Otherwise, nah. I'm not dealing with these people for no six dollars in no airport. It's like and and Lyft is probably charging that person, that same person, like $19. $18 to get to there. No, like, nah, you could do better than that. You could do better than that. Like I said, this idiot right here. I'm telling you, get out the way, Jesus Christ. These people, man, I don't know where the hell they come from. It's like they got the signs everywhere to show you how to get in and out of the airport. But I guess I could go downtown and pick people up. But I'd rather go to Tempe and pick people up. Let's go over to Uber real quick and see what Uber's got going. Let's see what Uber's got. Because if nobody's got nothing, I mean, it's 4.50 in the morning. I could just head back to the house. It's really, it's not a lot out here right now. Let me see. When they got airport, what am I sitting on? Probably a $2 surge for all I know. Yeah, $2.75. Yep. And Uber ain't surging nowhere else. Like $14 up there. You know, $15.30. What? No. $30? No, you lying. You lying. Because that's worth it. That's worth it. I don't know. That's not even too far from me right now. Like I said, I'm right there. That's right there. $30? For real? For real? Yeah, they, they put it on that shit. Hold up for it. Let's see what we're talking about right here. Uh, $7? Nope, nope. We're rethinking something real quick. You motherfuckers are slow. All right, go offline. Because uh, if Uber's really talking about putting that $30 up there, let me see something. I don't know, man. That's, that's looking pretty yummy. $30. I'm on Uber Pet right now. They took delivery off my phone. You see, you don't see no delivery. <laughs> they like, yeah, don't fuck with him. $30. Five o'clock in the morning. I don't know. Let's see what we can do. And it's a slow ass bus in front of me. Yeah, this is probably my sign not to fuck with it. It's like, Jeff, don't go fuck with that. You're going to be dealing with these slow ass buses and shit. Big ass motherfucking charter bus. Never have I seen a charter bus coming out of the airport terminal. It's a fucking charter bus in front of me. I mean, this is one of them big ass John Madden fucking buses, not a little bus. I'm like, out of all shit, this is what happens. Yeah, okay. But man, that is pretty far up there. That that's about Paradise Valley. And that's over Lincoln Drive. Ooh, that's that's a shot, man. That's a shot. I don't know, man. It doesn't look that far. It really don't look that far. But if I gotta deal with fucking charter buses and crazy shit like that, then that's that's a far shot. You know what? I'm off work tomorrow. Fuck it. Let's go for it. Let's go. Let's get behind the charter bus. I'm going up. I'm going up. Let's roll. And I'm going to scoop my ass over here to get from behind this motherfucker because I could have been gone a long time ago. All these motherfuckers is too slow for me. It's like we could have been gone. All right, so I'm going to go up north, hit this motherfucker right here. Woo. This is my last ride. Last ride. Because like I said, I could do it. I don't know, man. It's a lot of fucking lights. This is a lot of lights. Where are we at? Ooh, if I hit a 143, swing around the 202, go straight up north to hit that. Here, the charter bus is turning. Uh, what am I gonna do? What will I do for that $30? Do I drive up there and get that 30 bucks? 
Oh, man. You know what? Fuck it. There's too many red lights for me. There's too many red lights. I'm going home. Yeah. Like I said, I just sat at this motherfucking red light long enough. I'm done. I'm headed to the fucking house. Fuck this shit. Nope, we're done. I'm not. All these motherfuckers are crazy. There's way too many red lights for me. Way too many red lights. That was two, three. That was three red lights in a row. One, two, three. Not worth my fucking time. Uh, my night's over. I'm going home right now. I'm done. Done, done, done. Just south of the airport, right by where I, where I live. And I told you that $30 surge is gone. It's not up to 51 no more. They pulled it that damn quick. It was way too many lights. I would have never made it there. Never made it. Now they got surge over here, like in Scottsdale and stuff. But it's like, all these surges will disappear before you even get there. It's not even worth it. Not even worth it. They're trying to get drivers to go to these places. And when they get close, they're pulling it real fast. That's why I know that one up here that was for 30 and 15, it wouldn't have lasted that long. I wouldn't have made it up there. That's why I was not, I was like, nah, I better take my ass home. So I fucking curve south. Sure enough, I turn the app back on, that shit's gone. And there's nothing in my area right now. Nothing down here. So, you know, this is what they're doing. They're, they're getting drivers like that. They're tricking them to making them think, hey, man, there's going to be a surge to start heading that way. And you get halfway there. The surge is gone. Here I am on Lyft. They still got surge over in Tempe, like right next to me. They got surge up in Scottsdale. This is everybody trying to get that airport money in the morning. So they want they want to get people to the airport, but they're just not willing to pay right. So a lot of people just ain't dealing with it. And that was my last one there. Let me see. 228, where's my activity? That was it right there. I hate when people ride my ass. So that was that one right there. That was my last one. So, yep, and that was to the airport, 1137. Almost home. Like I said, that was all I wanted was $11 to get to the airport. I got it. So now it's time for me to get my ass home and be done for the night. And Uber is like, man, why didn't you take the bait, bro? You should have took the bait. Nah. As soon as I would have hit that 51 and been going up the highway, they would have pulled that shit and I would have been stuck up there. And they would have been like, hey, you might as well take an airport ride back since you're already up here. Go ahead and take your little airport ride back. I would have been like, fuck, got me, got me. And then the smoke got me. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that.